In nomine de nostra, Santanus, Lucifera, Excelsius, Ave, Volo Platus, Carnus, Ave, Lucifera, Renich, Tassa, Uberica, Basara, Icar, Lucifera, Ave, King Lucifer, Ave, Great Father Satan, True God of this world, God who invites us to become as gods, Ave, Satanus, Tassa, Remi, Laras, Satan, Ave, Satanus, Ave, and Hail, Father Satan, Ave, Great Lord Belial, he who, he, who, he who walks between the worlds, Larach, Tassa, Vifa, Welica, Belial. Ave, Great Lord Belial. Ave, Great Lord Leviathan, the Primortal Dragon. Judan, Tassa, Hoit, Naka, Leviathan. Ave, Le Lord Leviathan. Hail, Leviathan. Ave, Beautiful Queen Lilith the true mother of all demons, and the true queen of the night. Larach, Tassa, no. Renich, Vasra, Aveg, Lilith, Larach, Lilith. Ave and hail, beautiful queen Lilith. Ave, great lord Volok. Aveg, Sikor, Anka, Volok. Hail, lord Volok. Ave, great king Asmodeus. Ave, great King Asmodeus, a year a vague alorum. Asmodeus, a keen Asmodeus. Ave and hail, great King Asmodeus. Ave, great King Asmodeus, a year a vague alorum. Asmodeus, a keen Asmodeus. Ave and hail, great King Asmodeus. An ave and hail to every one of my true, sadistic, 666% true brothers and sisters. Hail and Ave. I just gotta turn my light out. There's too bright in there. Yeah. Hail Satan, brothers and sisters. I want to do this video on uh, on uh, pretty much Okay, everybody has shit going on in their life, okay? Some were like, you know, like stuff that makes, stuff that bring, brings us down, okay? In the world we live in today, you can have, you can be a multi-billionaire, okay? Or you can... Just to for you, or you can have a little, be renting a room somewhere, or have a little bachelor apartment, or a little apartment, and have hardly anything. Like, just as long as you got food in your belly, a roof over your head, we should be thank, we should be thankful to Father Satan for everything. But if we got a, but if we got a dry roof over our head, food in our belly, and we're healthy, that's the most important thing that Father Satan's one of the most important things that Father Satan and the demonic are doing for us. But there are a lot of people who are not thankful. They think because they have a little tiny problem in their life, everything's gonna come to an end. And I mean everything. They think that everyone's against them, the universe is against them, Father Satan is against them. All every ancient god and every ancient goddess is against them, who are the true demons and demonesses, and they think that they think that everybody is against them. They feel everybody's against them. They think the world is against them. Now, that being said, this day and age, almost ninety percent of the population are having problems. Okay, and in Satanism is no difference. Okay, be it theistic Satanism, spiritual Satanism, traditional Satanism, necromancy, or demonolatry. Believe you me, we have our problems as well. Some, in some cases, more than others. But that's part of the path we chose. 
or we were chosen for. Now, I believe personally Father Satan chose me many years ago, when I was a kid, probably before I came out of the womb, out of my mother's stomach. My mother's still alive, she's 88, and in saying that, she don't know, she, know, she knows that, she thinks that I'm a Satanist, but she don't know anything about it, but she's 88 too, right, so, you know, but she knows that I am the way I am, and that's it, I'll never change. Only get deeper into, only get deeper, as deep as I can possibly and humanly get into with Father Satan and the demonic. Like my great brother Michael, like my great sister Valvin, like my great brother Will, like my great brother Edgar Caval, like my great brother Bohemoth X, like my beautiful sister Maria Ravensoul, my beautiful sister Holly Rowan, my beautiful sister Carrie Darkstar, my beautiful sister Sandra Graham, my beautiful my beautiful sister Venus Satanus, my beautiful sister uh, Marith, Melissa Laws, my beautiful sister uh, What's her name? Uh, damn, dum, dum, da dum, 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 dum. I can't remember her name, but she just went on a trip to uh, somewhere for the weekend. I think something like that. Uh, I can't remember her name for the life of me right now, but she knows that I think the world of her, and I'll probably remember her name in a while. But that being said, we all have problems in our life, be it family problems. Okay? Relationship problems, because believe you me, I have them too. Health, you know, we're lucky if we got our if we got our health, we got something very serious to be thankful to Father Satan and the demonic for. And I'm not joking, I'm dead serious. But in saying that, I will say this. Uh, I feel that a lot of us true Satanists are not thankful enough to Father Satan and the demonic. Like, truly not. Like, and I'm not joking. Like, it's not, I, I don't, that's one thing about me. I might joke and carry on a lot or whatever, but I do not do it, I do not do it when I'm talk, when I'm talking about my belief system. Anything to do with my belief system, for that matter. Now, that being said, I, uh, a buddy of mine, I just found out he broke he broke up with his girlfriend because she wanted him to change and go to her beliefs. She wanted him to go from, you know, go from one belief to another, okay? He didn't want to, he wanted to stay his own belief, which I don't blame him. And I give him all props in the world for it. And they split. Now whether they say splits another thing. But, uh, you know, but at least a man was strong enough to stand up for his beliefs. I will give him every prop in the world for that. Now, that being said, I did the same thing years ago. I was married. Two stepkids. Stepkids are like 29, 30 now. They all grew up. Got their own lives. Uh, I was a Satanist, obviously, all my life pretty much, as long as I can remember. Well, that being said, my ex-wife was a Roman Catholic. Yeah, one of them. And it got to the point that she basically, after being married for years and years, okay, it got to the point that she decided that either, she pretty much told me either you give up what your belief system is, you give up your, you know, she said bullshit. That's the word she called my belief system, which pissed me off completely. Or you'll have to break up with me. I said, okay then. So I thought about it for, I don't know, maybe half hour. And I was, remember, I was married to her for years. And then I packed her bags. I didn't really pack them, I just threw, threw everything in there. 
into her bags. I threw everything into her bags and I threw everything into a couple, a few boxes for her. I just threw it in there. I didn't pack it. And I said, here you go. There's the door. I said, there you go. Bye. And that was that. That was X amount of years of marriage gone. Just as quick as that. Because I wasn't folding to no giant way. I was, I'm a true Satanist, a true theistic, traditional spiritual Satanist, a demonologer, and a necromancer. And there's no way in, in this, there, there was no way in this world that I was going to change, going to stop believing in my belief system. And there's no way in this world I was going to stop believing in my belief system. Or, I was, <laughs> there's no way I was going to stop my beliefs, there's no way I was, what happened was, there's no way I was going to stop my belief system, give up a marriage or not. Marriage had, you know, she knew that I was a true Satanist when she met me, when we got married, everything. I decide, and then later on down the road, she decides, oh, well, this is not good enough. You know, I, I don't like your belief system, yada, yada, yada. And I said, you know what? I said, if you don't like my belief system, you can leave. I said, because I ain't changing my belief system. With, every, with everything that Father Satan, King Lucifer, Lord Belial, Lord Leviathan, beautiful Queen Lilith, great King Asmodeus, great King Asmodeus, Lord Volok, Queen Tiamath, King Pazuzu, all of the Draconic, with, in any way was I giving up my belief system, married or not, for nobody. And I didn't care who it was, and I don't care today who it was, who it is. If I hook up with someone, well, I'm hooked up with someone, kind of, but, you know, and if they don't like my belief system, they have a choice. Stay with me or leave. Simple. And if they choose to leave... I'm sure it all for regret it eventually. Like my ex-wife, I'm sure she did eventually. But that's her choice, not mine. But well, it was mine, because I didn't want to pack the bags, but oh well, it doesn't matter, because it was done anyway. But that being said, everybody has their problems. And I do not care who the person is, everybody has their problems. But, the thing is, we have somebody to go to for our pro with our problems. We have somebody to talk to who we will get a return answer from. We just won't get, not like fucking design, not like all the ones that, not like all the other ones who do, the ones that are not Satanists, okay? The ones that are not demonologists or necromancers. Yes, true, Satan, true Satanism is a very lonely path. There's no question about that. True Satanism is a very lonely path. It always was, and it always will be. But that being said, that's where the wolf part comes in. And only the strong survive. It's called a weaning out process. That's what I call that. That's where Father Satan and the demonic see who's loyal, truly where, where our, as humans, male or female, See, that's where the demonic, where Father Satan, King Lucifer, Queen Lilith, you know, King Asmodeus, Lord Belial, Lord Leviathan, all, every ancient god in existence, every demon and demoness in existence, that's where they see where our true loyalties lie. They know that if we're faced with a situation, be it breaking up with someone, because I broke up my ex-wife and I dumped her, and I threw my wedding ring down a manhole. Now where it is today, I got no idea. I really don't care. But I threw it in a manhole in in Brampton. And I can take you to the manhole if I, you know, was out there and show you the manhole I threw it in. If you think I'm lying, but I got no, I don't lie when I do my videos. I tell the truth the best, best to my knowledge, and I try to help people the best I can. And if I help one person by doing any all of my videos that I'm after doing in the past, 
and hopefully the ones in the future if I help either one one person on their path to the with Father Satan and the demonic it's worth it to me and the reason why I start doing videos was because I was let I was being led to do them by Father Satan King Lucifer King Asmodeus beautiful Queen Lilith and all the rest of the demonic well, that being said everybody almost everybody probably everybody I'll get close to it and say everybody has problems in their life life is not always skittles at the end of the rainbow okay it's not always apple pie and Sundays okay it's not always apple pie and ice cream every day that's not the way it works that's where we have to be strong in our belief system like I mean like fucking very strong severely strong we have to be really strong in our belief system we have to trust Father Satan and the demonic because that's the only ones really in the world I trust like deep down like spiritually I trust Father Satan with everything I trust King Lucifer with everything I trust King Asmodeus with I trust all of the demonic every demon and every demon is in existence but I know one thing every one of us has our has a hard time and we all get depressed from time to time life throws some kind of curveball at us and we get depressed from time to time I get depressed from time to time I I'm not gonna lie the same as you but in same as the next guy you know everybody does doesn't matter who you are it don't make no difference who you are hey man and in saying that I know for a fact that when my ex my ex-wife my ex-wife's darling family they uh, when I broke up with her okay when I just give me one second guys Okay, when I broke up with my ex-wife, their family expect her, her family and her expected me to either number one do something and lock get locked up and get put away for for years. No, sorry, I done that. I ended up with ten years before, long time ago, years ago. I ended up doing dime. They expect me to do something stupid or end up in jail end up in a psychiatric hospital somewhere or try or commit suicide now I used to go to bed in the nighttime and there was times that I you know I was pretty you know not I'm not ashamed to say that there was times that I cried when I go to bed in the nighttime but in saying that I was also asking Father Satan for help and King Lucifer and all of the demonic and I got my help. I got my help, no question. You know, it might seem like you think, a lot of people think that the demonic always work on, like, say something so we can see it right away. 99% of the time, the demonic do things behind the scenes. They're, they're doing it. it. Obviously, we have to ask. And we have to <coughs> give offerings in return, you know, be it incense, blood rituals, food, drink, <coughs> excuse me, what have you. But either way, we still have to, you know, we have to give thanks to them, to all of the demonic. And... Saturday, tomorrow's Friday's 20th, Saturday's the 21st, which means it's the winter solstice, which means that is a very special day for anybody that's in a Satanist, a true Satanist, a true sinister 666% Satanist, whether it be theistic, spiritual, theistic Satanism, spiritual Satanism, uh, 
traditional Satanism, demonolatry or necromancy. The 21st, the 21st, the summer solstice on the 21st, Saturday, or the winter, winter solstice, sorry, or winter, yeah, winter solstice. On the 21st is a very important day for Satanists and night, and it's very important for the demonic, because Father Satan deserves our worship and our rituals on Saturday night. And I'm not joking, I'm being dead serious. So anybody that watches this video, I'm going to try to get it posted by before Saturday night if I can. I'll do my best to, I'll do my damnness to. And if I, because my internet connection, is, where, I, where I live, my internet connection sucks. But, that being said, I do ask this one thing, and I don't ask for anything. I do ask this one thing that you do for yourself. Okay? Everyone that watches this video, if, then, if anybody watches it, I do ask that you do this for yourself. Do an honest honest to Father Satan ritual, okay, of thanks, honor, respect, loyalty, and if you have anything on your in your mind or on your heart or whatever that you need to let it out, do it during ritual. Let it out during ritual. And if that means tears, by all means cry like a baby. Father Satan wants us to be pure at heart with him and the demonic. He wants us to be 666% loyal, as my great sister Loki says, and as my great sister Holly says. He wants us to be 666% loyal, 666% truthful, 666% trustworthy, obviously, and 666% respectful. Because respect with the demonic and the ancient gods is very, 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 very important. It's actually one of the most important things. Not the most important, but actually it might even be the most important thing. We have to respect the ancient gods more than anything. If we don't, they're not gonna they're not gonna help us at all in any way, shape, or form. They're not gonna help us grow in knowledge and power. And enlightenment. King Lucifer, is if we don't respect King Lucifer, King Lucifer is not going to teach... He's obviously not going to get himself and his legions beneath him to help enlighten us or teach us any knowledge. I can guarantee you. Like, Father Satan will lead... Father Satan and King, Lu King Lucifer, right? And Father Satan and all the demonic. They'll lead us to a book. Or they'll lead us somewhere to do something. But it's like that old saying goes. You can't you can lead a horse to water, but you can't force him to drink. That's where our part comes into play. We have to do it. And I'm not joking, I'm dead serious. And and if you want to do if you if you never have haven't done a renunciation yet, and and you're a Satanist, I will say that the twenty first, the winter solstice would be a perfect time to do it. But you have to mean it. When you do it, you have to mean it. Anybody can say the words. But if you mean it here, and here, and here, totally different. And with that, I hope that was a little bit enlightening or a little helpful to someone. With that, I'll let everybody go. I go is behalf of me. Hail Father Satan, hail King Lucifer, hail Lord Belial, hail Lord Leviathan, hail Nave, beautiful Queen Lilith, hail Nave to every demoness that's in existence, and hail Nave to every demon that's in existence, and hail Nave to every one of my true 666% brothers and sisters in Father Satan. Ave Satanus, and I'll talk to you next, guys. Hail Satan.